All right, welcome to Pharaoh, a new era, and we're gonna jump into the campaign here, reliving 4,000 years of Egyptian history. Proceed. We've got to get through the first mission ever. Hey everyone, do you remember Noopt? Your family begins the pre-dynastic period, leading a small band of nomads through their discovery of the arts of civilization. Your leadership helps to set Egypt on its course to eventual greatness, still glimpsed only dimly. The first mission of Pharaoh. Nupt. A village is born. So, obviously, this will be a pretty straightforward one, but uh, we, I, I, it's just exciting starting up Pharaoh from the beginning. It took me seven years to play through the first game. Hopefully it won't take us that long this time around. Welcome to ancient Egypt, land of the pharaohs. Here you'll participate in the history of one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever seen. In an epic story that spans more than 15 centuries and two dozen generations. You must lead one family, generation by generation, from its earliest beginnings in Egyptian prehistory, through the dawn of civilization, to the establishment of a unique and powerful empire and beyond. Our story begins more than 5,000 years ago, along the banks of the Nile River in an area known as Nut. Here, a small confederacy of clans struggles to eke out an existence in the harsh environment. With you at its head, your family leads this small settlement. Welcome back to Pharaoh! Ah. Uh. Here we are, with the humble beginnings. And you might notice one big change, that there is a loss condition if you go into debt too far. Of course, this game is tutorialized much, much better than the first game, but you know, I'm just, I'm not gonna read through all the tutorials because I know how to play Pharaoh, uh, but we will go through this. Look at this, it's, it's tutorializing the UI. And the UI is very different. Um, and, you know, it's gonna take some getting used to, but not so bad. We can zoom out as well so we can see more of the map. And I, the hotkeys should be working if I press... Oh, I, it's gonna make me do the stuff first. So, alright, let's build the houses. No road access. So, of course, we need to build the roads. It, th this is how it's telling us how to build Nupt. The Kingdom Road, yes, we know how that works. Immigrants spawn and they walk to their houses. Ah, oh, the, the little group of ostriches here. It's so, it's, it's so weirdly nostalgic, but new at the same time. It's, it's a weird feeling. <laughs> but I am so excited to play through this game once more. I only have one playthrough, I say only, one playthrough of Pharaoh and Cleopatra on the channel. So we're gonna do like a whole bunch more missions. I'm new here. I wonder what the city will offer to a person like me. All right, let's speed up the game. I have, just because it's me, I have changed the hotkeys to um, what I'm more familiar with. Access to water, of course, we start with wells. Don't use them too much throughout the campaign because we've got better ones. Quality of life, all right. Uh, evolve them into sturdy huts. Are these sturdy huts? Oh, hunting. Yep, okay. I I'm too good for this game. <laughs> so let's get hunting going. You can see it shows the spawn points and despawn points. Let me slow the game down again. And this should work. Copy buildings. Yes! The new quality of life features are very, very nice. Uh, workforce access. Now, global employment is an option, but for now I will leave it as normal. Mission one, I'll leave it as, as workforce access. Uh, so they have to send out the worker seekers. I'm the most popular person in the city. A lot of people need jobs. Yes. Now we got to build a granary. Also, oh no, the granary is facing the wrong way. You can rotate the granary. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? You can rotate most buildings now. Um, bazaars and distribution, very good. Uh, let's go bazaar. Walkers and return points, yeah. So it actually shows the spawn point and return points. So, forced walkers. 
is still implemented. We we did ask them about that, and they said, yeah, they they want to allow that to, to stay in. But to make things clearer, they actually show the spawn point and despawn points. You can rotate the bazaar as well if you want. Ambul Ambulomancy. They're actually explaining how walkers work. It, it's really good that they do explain that because if you've, if you've never played the old Impressions games, it is actually very confusing. Um, so that, that's difficult to deal with. We can't build roadblocks yet. Oh, there we go. Now we can build roadblocks. So we want a roadblock there, roadblock there. Fire and collapse risk, no problem. Um, we'll go for firehouse. We can place these anywhere now. So firehouse, yes. And architect's post. Access to clean water. So also, I just wanted to check. I think we can... Hunting lodge. We can rotate the hunting lodge as well. Also, oh, I, I, I can't wait to see if... The hunting doesn't bug out this time. I had so much difficulty in the original Pharaoh with hunting. Basically, you could only have one group of hunters. If you had another group of hunters on the other side of the map, the spawning of the ostriches would, would mess up and it, it would just become a big, big mess. Uh, also, I set this to default except none. So let's set that to accept all so we can actually get some meat in there. Also, the bazaar should be set to buy. In the options, you can now set the defaults. I will be going over the options fully in a little bit. Um, let's, uh, we need to get some clean water. So water supply goes right. Oh, so actually while we're here, let's let's just confirm Forced Walker does actually work. What am I doing? That, that's not how I'm going to test Forced Walker. But let me just make sure we, we actually can do Forced Walker here. So if we had, for example, a broken loop and I wanted to put a water supply. I can't put a water supply. Let's, let's put something. <laughs> there's, there's no water there. Hunting lodge. Yeah, there we go. So you see the spawn point is on one side. The despawn point is on the other side. So they are maintaining the southern spawn and the northern despawn. So forced walkers does work. Very good to see. Um, let's go ahead and put down that water supply. That can go right there. You know, this is not exactly how I would build things, but there we go. Well done. By filling your people's bellies with nourishing food and protecting their homes from fire and collapse, you have helped this fledgling civilization take its first step on the long road of history. Did it in under a year, and we are playing on max difficulty as well. So it's got a nice little recap here of the, the ratings. Uh, and the houses that we needed to get, and our total population at the end. You can keep governing, but I think we should head straight into Mission 2, so let's go straight into Mission 2.